Good day everyone, I'm Jervie Anahau, an application engineer of Computerends. Uh, my topic for today is all about future design tools or apps all from 3D Experience platform. I will present the future design from 3D Experience, the 3D Sculpture. So the overview if you design more on organic shapes, so you can use this 3D Sculpture. And then we have the 3D Creator. If you want to design from web browser anywhere at any time and then it's a user interface same as SOLIDWORKS we also have what we call the 3D ren render so if you want to create a photorealistic images and more you can use this 3D render role and then lastly we have 3D sheet metal creator if your design is more on sheet metal, you want to check the flat pattern of your design and many, many more, you can use uh, this 3D sheet metal creator rule. I will start with 3D Sculpture. 3D Sculpture or X shape, so what's the difference between the two? 3D Sculpture is a 3D experience rule. Okay? And then the X shape is the app with the 3D sculpt rule and it's fully browser based. Okay? So when you click the 3D sculpt rule in the 3D experience, you can see the X shape apps. Okay? Next. So what is 3D sculpt? 3D sculpt or X shape is a browser based CAD application on 3D experience platform. It is used to model organic shapes that would uh, be difficult to create in other apps. Okay? It uses uh, subdivision or what we call sub-D surface. These surface or surfaces are covered with an easily manipulated polygon mesh. Okay? The D surfaces can be reshaped by manually changing its topology by pushing, pulling, dragging or rotating elements of the surface. In addition, there are many shaping tools that can be applied directly to topology. And then after editing, the sub the sub surfaces is automatically refined to create a smooth curvature continuous or what we call G2 surfaces. Uh, these surfaces are eventually converted to NURB or non-uniform rational B spline so that they can be used with X design and SOLIDWORKS and then its file storage is on the cloud so X shapes offers a large selection of 3D the fully enclosed surface like box, quad ball, cylinder, globe Toros, Cone, and Pyramid. You can also build using uh, 2D primitive subdivision shapes. Here are the flat surfaces like rectangle, disc, and ring. This shape can be created or can be edited and combined to form more complex uh, models. So we can manipulate the geometry by selecting faces, edges, and then some vertices. Okay. You can by you can select vertices, then uh, pushing into the body or pulling away from it. So when starting a physical product, okay, we can select a primitive shape. That is the closest general approximation of the final shape. Okay? Example, this mouse design. The most closest primitive shapes to this mouse is the box. Okay? And then, you can see the other example. Okay? And you can also add different primitive shapes based on the final shapes you're trying to design. For, the, for example, this last, this, uh, last example. 
you can add these two shapes to form this final shape. Okay. 3D sculpture or X shape demo and showing of user interface. So we will start a new component. Okay. And then save it save it in the common space. And then select uh, primitive shapes. In the example, we select the box. And then you can uh, scale the freeform. Okay, scale it to the 100, for example. And then we can also show all the vertices. Or we can show the mesh cage. Okay. So, this is subdivision environment toolbar. Okay. To push or pull, you may select any of the following. You can select the face, edge, or vertices. Robot is the key to all pushing and pulling and rotating action. We call it robot. And then you can select different surfaces and then adjust to a specific height. Okay. Also, you can turn off the mesh cage. Okay. And then press spacebar to bring up the view cube. And then F to zoom to fit. Okay. And then you can box selection another key to use in push-pull technique. For the example, we highlight the vertices in the upper right. And then dragging the planar section of the robot allows to drag along the plane formed by two adjacent axes. Okay. So this example, drag to the left. Okay. And then you can highlight some vertices and adjust its uh, dimension. And then you can also enable symmetry. Okay. Once symmetry is enabled, you can see the green edge. So symmetry is active. So you can also use the crease feature. It creates bends along the edges. Okay. Just click the edges. It will apply on both sides because symmetry is active. And then click OK to complete the command. We have control loops. There are the edge loops. Okay. Click the edge. Okay. And then we will realign the robot. Select with a slight angle. And then set to XYZ. Okay. And then adjust to a specific uh, dimension. And then highlight. We will align mesh points. They look planar but they, it may be a little off. So we will align it to the another plane. Face or, or plane. Okay. For the example, we select the XY plane and then check. Okay. And then we can also add features. It may be adding feature or creating holes. For the example, we will creating some holes. We will select the two faces. Okay. We can also extrude by combining two faces. Okay. Highlight the different edge or vertices and then you can uh, adjust. You can also adjust or scale by distance. Okay. And then check. This is example of subdivision services. Okay. You can also add another uh, primitive surfaces or primitive shapes, for example, these shapes, and you can uh, adjust its, uh, its scale. And then we will use the flex feature, highlight some vertices, adjust its dimension, do it on the other side. And then you can also translate or move its location by dragging this uh, robot. Okay, and then check. By clicking uh, X Design or Switch, we can we can switch the apps, okay, features, and then we will combine. Okay, we will combine, and then we will start to sketch in uh, X Design. We can also add another features like fillet, and then we select the face. Uh, it will automatically. Uh, 
edit in a uh, 3D sculpture or X shape. You can also edit. So after that, you can add any appearance based on the required design requirement. Okay, that's the short sculpture demo. Okay, so next, what is 3D Creator? 3D Creator is almost the same user interface and commands with SolidWorks. with the design manager and see the history of all the feature created and then 3d creator is a browser based 3d modeling solution also built on the cloud base okay from it is from 3d experience platform based on uh, the source system and then 3d creator complements solidworks 3d cad uh, with a flexible design workflow and a seamless interchange of data of de of design data and then it also avoid rework and data translation errors through what we call seamless inter interaction with SOLIDWORKS 3D CAD and the other 3D experience design tools such as the 3D Sculptor okay And then understand the structural requirements such as support loads and con constraints before creating geometry through an easy exploration of optimal material, what we call uh, design guidance. Okay. So what is the difference between 3D Creator or X Design? 3D Creator is an a uh, 3d experience role okay so if you have this role you if you click this role and then you can find the x design apps so x design is the app with the 3d creator role okay and take note it it is a uh, fully browser based so you can use this anywhere as long as you have an internet connection <clears throat> so XDesign overview. XDesign is a powerful CAD modeling software that captures a model sketch element. You can also capture 3D features, design intent, meet, meet types, and assembly motion in the cloud. This makes it easy to work on your models wherever you have internet access and allows you to work without having to manage file storage because you can save your design on cloud in X design you can leverage CAD tools and workflow in X design you can leverage CAD tools and workflows user in X design you can leverage CAD tools and workflows users are familiar with okay you can create sketch based features like extrudes and revolves okay you can also apply features such as shells draft fillets and ch chompers you can utilize multi body modeling to create highly customized uh, solid geometry you can also create surfaces to generate unique contours that can be thickened or converted into solids later on and you can combine components into assemblies and sub assemblies that can be mated and given motion by specifying degrees of freedom X Design combines the SolidWorks CAD functionality you're familiar with and some advancement in 3D design. This microphone holder is a single body part design here in X Design, which has all the features list listed here in the Design Manager. As you expect, 
The feature can be rolled back, suppressed, and edited at any point in the design history, and components update to reflect the changes. XDesign uses 3D features you've seen in SOLIDWORKS that any CAD user need at their fingertips. The base feature can begin as extrude, revolve, swept, loft, etc. Once the base geometry is created, other applied features like fillet, chamfer, shells, and pattern can be added to build out the design. Then, multi Multi-body modeling is also a primary feature of X-Design. This allows flexibility in your design process where individual bodies can be replicated, combined, cut, and deleted as needed. Okay. Surface modeling is also one of the primary capabilities of X-Design. Some of the commands you may be familiar with, surface extrude, revolves sweeps, and Lobs are available as operation directly inside the dialog box appear for the standard commands. It gives you flexibility in how you want geometry to be created and can be swapped in and out solid modeling or surface modeling as needed. In addition, some other traditional surface commands like surface, extend trims, rolled surface or splits are incorporated to be able to to refine the surface contour you create. As you create the various components that make up an assembly, you can insert components into single design and make them together directly in X-Design platform. This brings your design into life by specifying which mates are used to open up degrees of freedom between components. You'll be able to add mates with familiarity. The most universal use mates such as coincident, concentric, parallel, and many more. All this functionality is laid out in intuitive, simple user interface, streaming the way you create your models and bring your ideas to life. One of the most innovative aspects of X-Design is its design guidance functionality. It generates geometry in the model based on loading condition. Okay? To generate design guidance, you need to set up three items, restrain, applied force, build volume. Okay. On the restrain, we will need to select uh, this face okay, where the swing arm are located. Okay. Select both surface. Okay. And then check. And then next, we will uh, apply or the applied force. Okay. In this applied force, since it is swing arm, we need to select the axle axle of the wheel. Okay. Okay. Select the axle face. Okay. Okay, select the axle face, okay, both sides, and then uh, check for distributed since the since the load is distributed on this axle, and then specify the force acted on it. So we put 600 newton. Okay. Next, we will uh, select what direction okay so you need to select vertical edge as reference okay okay after that you need to check since we have the applied force the last one is the we need to set up the build volume okay build volume so in new design it generates a new shape from scratch okay within the user defined design volume bounds okay so we need to select the check the settings okay then select the volume okay and then the 
the volume must be uh, selected or adjust based on the uh, restraints and applied force. Okay? Adjust its location. Uh, build volume must be cover the restraint and loca restraint location and where the applied force located at. Okay? You just drag the arrow. Okay? As long as it's cover the restraint and the build volume. Check the volume origin XYZ. Okay. After you uh, set up all the restraints, applied force, and then the build volume, okay, we need to check the exclude exclude regions. Okay. So in this example, select this uh, this part as uh, exclude regions. Okay. Since uh, this part is symmetry to the other part. Just click symmetry. Okay. And we will check the results. Okay. Since all uh, all uh, design guidance is uh, or the three items is being uh, set up, click generate. Okay. then wait for the results okay you can also adjust add remove materials okay and you can see the mass okay you can uh, this uh, show the result display by granular so this is the great starting point for generating swing arm design okay it inspired and helped designer understand optimal material placement usage to support loads and constraint. Next in future design we have 3D render or X Studio. X Studio is an application in the 3D experience platform and comes with the 3D render role. X Studio creates uh, photorealistic marketing images from physical product design and apps like X Design. And then you can also apply materials by drag and drop. You can also add ambience, edit lighting, and background to create uh, realistic images. When working in the 3D Experience platform, you are accessing the program hosted through a web browser. And also, it, it is a cloud-driven rendering. Okay? So next in our future design, we have 3D Sheet Metal Creator. Or the apps is called X Sheet Metal. In 3D Sheet Metal Creator, it provides 2D and 3D sheet metal design and has the capabilities in an easy to to use in a browser apps. It offers users the freedom to choose between desktop and cloud. If your company is designing in uh, sheet metal comp components from concept through production, you can use this uh, 3D sheet metal creator. If you are looking to improve productivity and efficiency for sheet metal design, if you are using or if your company desire to move towards lightweight computing devices, looking for reduced IT overhead, and then need for built-in collaboration and data management, okay? So what are the benefits of 3D sheet metal creator role? From productive design solution, it is specialized sheet metal functionality 
tailored sheet metal specific user interface and then intuitive also easy to learn in context style modeling it will automate repetitive tasks with design assistant and then covers from concept to detailed design for manufacture it will also increase design flexibility because it is web based and then accessible anywhere and anytime also single modeling environment so you can focus on your design not assembly structure it has uh, built in data management built in data management and version control so you can focus on design not data management you can store data in a centralized secure location and then you can connect with SOLIDWORKS desktop and lastly it allows the software to grow alongside with companies success and growth okay in this example we need to create sheet metal enclosure for this compressor just create sketch and then size is based on design requirements and add some dimension on it okay and then we need to extrude that sketch okay we need to add edge flange by selecting its edges and specify its heights okay you can also adjust its, its dimension okay To add uh, cutouts, just create sketch and then click the feature cutouts. Okay. After the cutouts, uh, you can also add uh, what we call wall on edges by creating sketch. Okay. Create sketch and then uh, specify the material side. Also, you can add additional hole by creating sketch. Okay. Specify its dimension and then cut. And then check the plot pattern and then add some corner relief. In, in this part, you need to add corner relief. Okay. And choose the profile of relief you, you want. And then after your, after your design of corner relief, you can mirror this part okay you can use plot pattern to serve as reference for blanking process in your company that is the overview of future design so 3d sculptor 3d creator 3d render and lastly the 3d sheet metal creator okay Thank you for listening to my presentation and if you have any question in mind, you can contact us in www.computers.com.ph and you can follow us uh, in LinkedIn, Facebook and YouTube. Thank you.